Hi everyone, this is Jack Young from Visual Paradigm. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the model transformation feature by transforming an Archimate diagram into a UML use case diagram. Of course, you can apply the same technique in transforming other kinds of diagrams. Okay, before we go into the demonstration, let's take a quick look at the transformation mechanism. A transformation consists of two parts or two steps. The first step is to define the transformation. Note that I'm using the word define, not perform. The definition of transformation determines the mapping between the source and target elements at schema level. The mapping is performed at schema level, not on a particular model element. For example, you define a transformation from an Archimate diagram to a use case diagram, which involves mapping Archimate business actor to UML actor. The second step is to perform the transformation by applying the definition on a diagram. So if you've defined the transformation that transforms an Archimate diagram into a use case diagram and with business actor mapped it with UML actor, by applying the transformation on an Archimate diagram, use cases will be created automatically from the business actors on the Archimate diagram. So this is how model transformation works. Let's start the demonstration. This is an Archimedes diagram. In the diagram, there is a business actor, a business role, some business functions assigned by business actor and role, and two flow connectors connecting between several business functions. Now remember the first step is to define the transformation. I'm going to define the transformation with this Archimedes diagram because it contains all the elements I need to perform the actual transformation. To define a transformation, I'll right click on the diagram and select Utilities, Baggage Schema, and New Baggage Schema. Alright, here is a new term, Baggage. Baggage is an important concept in model transformation. A baggage holds the diagram elements needed in the transformation. You'll know more about Baggage in a minute. I'll just give it a name first. In this case, I'll name the Baggage Business Function Assignments. I'll click OK to confirm. Now you see some checkboxes placed over the shapes. What you need to do is to select the types of elements to be included as the source of transformation. For example, if you want to transform a business actor into a UML actor, here you need to select business actor. If you want to transform a business function into a use case, you need to select business function here. Ultimately, I want to create a use case diagram like this. I want to get the business actor and the role converted into UML actor. And I want the business functions get converted into use cases. I also want to convert the assignment connectors into associations. And to convert the flow connectors into include. So we go back to this diagram. We need to select business actor, business function, assignment, business role, and this assignment. This assignment is different from the one I selected before because the one I selected before is to connect between business actor and business function. This one connects between business role and business function, and also the flow connector. I don't need to select the other checkboxes because I'm defining the mapping, not performing. I just need to select the types of elements required to be included as the source elements in the transformation. OK, I've finished defining the package for the Archimedes diagram. I'll just close this first. Because the definition involves transforming an Archimedes diagram to a use case diagram. So I need to define a package for use case diagram. I'll just create a new dummy use case diagram for this purpose. Draw an actor with an associated use case and an include use case. Again, define a package for this diagram. Name it use cases. This time, I select the type of elements to be included as the target of a transformation. So I select actor, use case, association, and the include connector. I go back to the Archimedes diagram. I've defined the two packages, one for the Archimedes diagram and another one for the use case diagram. The next step is to establish a mapping between these two packages. 
right click on the Archimedes diagram and select Utilities, Package Schema, Business Function Assignments. This time I click on this button to define the transformation, which is to define the mapping between the two packages. Click this button to create a new transformation. I want to define a transformation that transforms an Archimedes diagram into use case diagram. So I select the target diagram type, which is use case diagram here. Here, select the package I just created for the use case diagram. I click OK. Now on the left hand side, you see the Archimedes diagram. And on the right hand side, you see the use case diagram. What I have to do now is to map the source elements in the Archimedes diagram with the target elements in the use case diagram. I want to get a business actor converted into a UML actor. To do this, click on the checkbox next to business actor. Click again on UML actor. A mapping is established between these two. I want to get business function converted into UML use cases. Again, I click on the checkbox next to business function. Click again on the checkbox next to use case to establish a mapping. And don't forget the connectors. Map assignments to UML association. Map business role to actor. Map the assignments that connect business role and business function to association. We finally map the flow connector to include connector. Save the setting. Return to the diagram. Alright, I've finished defining the transformation. And now I can perform the transformation. To do this, open the action bar on the right of the diagram. Click on this button. I want to transform the Archimedes diagram to a new use case diagram. So I click transform to a new diagram. You see a new use case diagram is created. The transformation from Archimedes diagram to use case diagram is partially automated by executing the predefined transformation rules. But of course, I still need to touch up the target model by tidying up the shapes and perhaps to add additional shapes. I do this now. So this is the final diagram. Because I've defined the transformation, I can apply it on any other Archimedes diagram, like this one. So I just open the action bar, click on this button, apply the same transformation definition in creating a new use case diagram, like this. This is how model transformation works. You may apply the same technique on any other diagrams. This is the end of this video. If you want more information about model transformation, please visit our website. Goodbye.